Okay, so happy new year, everybody. This is our first virtual perk of 2021. And the first Friday of every month, we're gonna be doing a leadership team presentation, which helps uh, get everybody engaged to let you know what's going on with the chamber and how we can better serve you. And we want to also hear feedback from you so we can make things better. We're gonna kick off the meeting with Bonnie Preston. She's the co-leader and a uh, and, uh, um, board member of the chamber. She's the co-lead, the uh, co-leader um, of uh, the membership committee. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie, go ahead. That's okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, the chamber is like a family and you have to, you know, learn about each other and find out about their businesses and who they really are. And it takes time. And Mark is going to touch on that in a minute. Um, you have to be involved. You have to participate. You you need to attend the lunch. Hello there, everyone. You hear me? Okay, Al. <laughs> Good to see you. The lunch you learns, um, our webinars, our different events. And we have a lot to know. offer. And a lot of people here have so much to offer. Um, the best way I can uh, describe it is what you give out comes back to you in time. And I, you have to start thinking, like when I'm out talking with business associates and during the course of conversation, they may mention something that they have a need or a problem or whatever. And I'll go, oh, I have somebody can, that can help you. That's in my chamber. And you have to put people like that together. So when you're out in business or talking to other people, always think about your network and who's in it so that you can refer people to help someone else. And in time, that comes back. So I'm going to turn it over to Mark a little bit because he's the king of networking and helping us develop on how to do this. Mark? If, if I ramble on or like sort of lose focus, Therese, Bonnie, reel me in, please. Uh, <laughs> good morning, gang. So first of all, I always feel like I'm preaching to the choir through a lot of these meetings because it's, it's a lot of us, the same people. And obviously we're like-minded, that's where we're here, but there's some new people and maybe put some thoughts in our heads to expand outside. So, um, I, I mean, to me, I see the chamber is a great resource. Um, it's, it's something that's fluid. It's something that's interactive. Uh, Jerry found the chamber, I think in 2016, 2015, when we joined and, um, you know, a, a member that had been a member for quite some time, we were sitting together and said, Mark, you know, it was a year and a half time I actually generated any revenue or business from being part of the chamber. But once that's done, it had taken off. And pretty funny. It's, I mean, for me personally, he almost nailed it. About a year and a half or so into the chamber, I actually started to get direct referrals from the chamber, as well as taking care of some chamber members. Um, so this is an investment. You know, we, we have our membership. We, 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 we need to maximize what our membership is. The chamber isn't a, a marketing company for us. It's not a, uh, a, a group that's going to do things necessarily for us. It's a resource for us to use and interact. And once we do that, we find the chamber does do stuff for us. Um, we need to utilize you know, sharing what we're doing with each other on the chamber uh, Facebook page, members page, um, on uh, LinkedIn. Um, and when we see somebody, like just to give you an example, we did a food drive based off of uh, the, uh, the the paint party at Thanksgiving time, and um, a bunch of people who didn't participate in the paint party still donated food. So once I got the food donated, I took some pictures, whatnot. I did a post and the post was about the chamber. This is what the chamber does. This is a, gr a great, a great thing. I actually started tagging people who donate food and realized I'm going to forget some people. So I, I did away with it, but I'm well, fortunately for Bonnie, I could give her the account over buyer. So that was attached to it. But anybody who donated food then, or was a participant, uh, go, go back and like, Take that post on the um, Facebook page and share it and say, hey, listen, this is an organization I'm part of. This is what we do. And that's going to get out past the chamber. Um, and, you know, Bonnie made another another good point. The chamber is also another value that it gives is it gives you resources. 
It makes you more valuable to your existing clients being part of this chamber because now you have resources of referral services. Um, you know, if you have a client that needs commercial real estate or residential real estate, you've got a gambit of people here. If you got um, a client or, 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 or a neighbor or a friend that needs some financial services, you have Eric and we've got a bunch of people that are part of the chamber. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's just a matter of, of interaction taking advantage and sharing. And again, the big thing is, is the one-on-ones, you know, picks, if, if you're looking for somebody or something to do something for you, think of somebody in the chamber that you know, and you have maybe either a warm, lukewarm or a warm relationship with, instead of just putting it out there on Facebook, Hey, I'm looking for this particular service. It gives you an excuse to call somebody in the chamber, reach out to them, say, Hey, how are you doing? By the way, I don't have a resource for this. Do you know somebody who might? And, you know, that's another big value of the chamber. Um, so again, it's just a matter of like, like Therese said, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's an account that grows interest in, in, in emotional um, and relational equity. Um, right. <laughs> and it's nothing that's going, it's, 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 it's not placing a bet and boom, all of a sudden you're going to get, get, get a big payback but it's a payback that's going to accrue over time. And that's the best way to uh, get back to return on investment is something that's going to continually, you know, give you over a period of time. Thing is, it takes a, just a little bit of time for it to get going. You have to be patient. You have to um, get, get yourself involved. And like you said, all of a sudden you're going to realize, Oh, wow. It's, you know, I'm starting to get something out of this. And worst case scenario is you're going to make some good friends and good relationships. Mm -hmm. I, just add, I just want to add uh, <laughs> what we're going to try and do uh, very early in this quarter is we're going to try and do a lunch and learn about sharing how to share on Facebook on hashtags uh, LinkedIn many of the younger group you do this every day yeah. it's a part of us older group we're still learning so yeah. we're going to do that mm -hmm. and um, there was one oh Tom Principia had taught me a wonderful way how to introduce two people through email and where I want to introduce that also into it to get just gives, give new members and even existing members some stronger still skills on how to share and network through the social media. Okay, Therese, back to you. Excellent. And that is a beautiful segue to Dawn Malinowski because Dawn is our social one of our social media experts. She's also on the board and she's going to talk about sharing things on social media. And Dawn, I know I can't see you on the screen. Oh. So start talking. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dawn Malinowski and I'm on the marketing committee. And just to reiterate what Bobby and Mark had said, um, I'm a true believer in networking. I'm a true believer in getting involved. And the more you get involved, the more in return. What you give is what you get. And so if anyone wants to join the marketing committee or any other committee, make sure you re reach out to any of us. Um, but yes, sharing your stuff on social media is great. Um, but also sharing the stuff that we post would help the chamber. So if you see something that's interesting, share that on your page. You can do that on LinkedIn. You can do that on Facebook, whatever works for you. If you're noticing any of the posts that we're posting and you're like I feel really out of the loop it's because you're not interacting with the posts so if you realize like I haven't seen a post from Monmouth Regional Chamber ever first go on and make sure you're on the group page and that you liked the business page and then just go through and like a few of the posts the more you interact with the posts the more you will see in return so just a simple like, you know, maybe a share will do a lot, you know, for both of uh, Amber and for you being able to see stuff um, and even commenting on any of the posts. All those things will help you see more of the posts and get more involved and make sure you don't miss anything. If you miss an email, maybe you'll see a post. Um, um, after when we were in person, Therese used to do this wonderful thing. We would all take out our phones, open up LinkedIn, and you would see everyone in the room. Well, obviously we can't do that right now, but you can download. So at the end of these uh, meetings, you go to the chat box at the bottom, and to the when it pops up to the right, there's three buttons, and you can actually download the chat, and you can see everyone's information. So save the information or, I mean, to me, it's easier to just 
uh, connect with them on LinkedIn. So when I need them, I go, you know, if I need Mark and I can't find his information really quickly, I can pop onto LinkedIn and message him through there. And um, one big thing that would just help the chamber is to um, write a Google review. If you are having, we obviously there's a lot of us that are very into the chamber and we know how important it is. I've been a member for over a year. Again, I'm on the board. I love everything about it. The people are amazing. I should be writing that on Google so that everybody else knows that we can get more good people in the chamber. So I basically it as far as you know what I have to say but um but yeah I'm a huge advocate for all of this it's had nothing but helped me not only gain friends but also you know business relationships and if you ever have any questions you feel free to reach out all right thank you so much Dawn that was really good really excellent thank you so if anyone has any questions about anything reach out to one of us um, we, we have a couple more things to talk about. I do have, um, what I'm going to do is, um, there's a bitly link, but to get to the, uh, the, the, uh, we have a Facebook member network page. So if you are a paid member of the chamber, you can join that page. The public can see what we post, but they can't post on it. Only the people that we allow into the page as members can post on it but the public can like and, and, and share and, and make comments. So um, it's a great place to, to, to chat, to talk to people, to get to know people, interact, to post what's new and great about what's happening in your life and your business. And we wanna grow that as well. We also have a YouTube channel that we're really trying to get off the ground and we're posting more and more videos on there. If anybody had seen the Athena so, uh, the Athena um, celebration that we had in November, that's, it's on there. Go and take a look at it and see one of our top-notch uh, events that we couldn't do in person, we did virtually and it really came out good. And, and uh, our sponsors got a lot of mileage out of it and now they'll be on this video forever. So um, take a look at that as well. Um, okay, so next I'm going to bring up Frank Toda. I know not, not everybody was on the call when we were talking about Frank. Frank joined the chamber in the fall of 2018. He, uh, I was lucky enough that he sat next to me at a women in business luncheon. That was my and first meeting. The very first meeting. <laughs> and we started talking and we got to be friends and he wanted to know what can I do to make the most out of my chamber membership? I'm like, join a committee. And at the time, I was the head of the membership committee. So, of course, I got him to join the membership committee. And the rest of it is history. Frank has done so much to help the chamber. And he was uh, a board member for the last year. And now uh, he decided to build a house in North Jersey. And he's going to be leaving us soon. But uh, he was uh, helped a lot with surveys, with our webinars over the summer last year. He was on the Athena committee for two years uh, and uh, did so much, came up with a mapping of our members so we could see where, are we, where do we need to get more members from? Where do we have lots of our members from? So he did so much to contribute, did the attendance sheet. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of work. Uh, so I just wanna say thank you to Frank and he's gonna talk about the last survey that we had in the fall and just uh, discuss what came about on that survey for us. Well, thank you so much. Um, so uh, for those of you who uh, may recall, we had our, I'll call it mid-year survey. We generally do at least one uh, big survey throughout the year in the fall. This was a little bit smaller and more targeted in terms of what it was intending to do. And so um, we're really centered around six questions. These are not really metric driven questions. It was only one really yes or no. Most of it was really talking about or asking for feedback. Um, as is typical of the surveys. So it went out to, I believe all the membership, uh, given the circumstances, you can, again, when you look at the numbers in terms of responses, you can sort of scratch your head and say, was that good response rate or was that not so good of, uh, of a response rate? Um, we had about 30 responses. Uh, so to put that in perspective, we only get about 50 when we do the normal surveys, you know, in the last couple of years. So it's not like we get, you know, 150 uh, responses when we do a survey. But I like to look at them as, uh, as the, like the Nielsen ratings. Uh, they're a proxy for what the sentiment is for probably the broader, uh, the broader chamber. And as is typical, people are 
uh, very uh, enthusiastic and with their responses most of the time. So what I've done is I've summarized this, so I'm not going to read it all off, but I will give you a sense as to what the, there were six questions. Um, and and, and uh, basically uh, it centered around uh, how things were going during the pandemic and then what uh, and how the chamber uh, could be of help to you uh, going forward. Um, so uh, just really quickly with the six, the six questions, what they were, uh, how has the chamber been helpful during these times? Asks also a question about uh, how effective were the virtual was the virtual has been virtual networking and the webinars. Uh, the only yes or no question was when, whether anybody had looked at the uh, replay of the webinars on YouTube. And then the next couple of questions really centered around uh, what the chamber, uh, what can the chamber do uh, in the next couple of months to help you in your business and ask for any suggestions from people uh, as to ideas uh, to help the chamber uh, think about. So getting to the feedback in terms of uh, whether the chamber has been helpful, it was pretty overwhelming uh, in terms of people saying, yes, it has been helpful. Uh, for those of you who remember when the pandemic hit, it was a little choppy trying to keep things uh, you know, continuing to go. We didn't really know what we were going to do. Doing things like this was not necessarily a natural thing for us to do, but it's become a very natural thing. So I think uh, you know, the feedback was overwhelmingly positive that uh, people felt that the virtual networking kept people together and it continues to do that as, uh, as time has gone on. Um, with respect to over the summer in terms of webinars, in terms of how helpful that was, again, I think people were very positive for those who participated and offered up their, uh, their services to give webinars. Uh, it, it really turned out to be very good. There were a lot of great topics, uh, even though we did it during the summer, which usually is a time period when there isn't uh, heavy turnout for most of these things. We had pretty good turnout for pretty much all of them. Um, there were a few people who uh, didn't find them useful, but um, again, the overwhelming majority of people uh, found them useful. Uh, as I mentioned, there was one yes or no question in terms of whether people went back and looked at the replays if they didn't have an opportunity to see a webinar. That was an overwhelming no. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, I, I guess there's more work that needs to be done or people are just not interested in going and looking at replays of anything. Um, but it's out there if people want to look at it. Um, the next several uh, questions were actually useful because it asks uh, you know, what the chamber can do uh, to help your business in the next uh, several months. And this becomes pertinent because again, these questions were asked, I guess, you know, sometime around September, October. Uh, I don't think it's any less relevant now. Um, but one of the main things that was asked was whether people would be comfortable uh, with in-person events. And I think as most of you know, that's been something that's been weighed back and forth over the last several months and determinations are being made as time goes on, depending on what the circumstances, uh, on, you know, how the circumstances unfold with the pandemic. Um, so to that question specifically, it was actually split pretty much 50-50. People that wanted to get together were certainly enthusiastic about getting together as long as the conditions were appropriate, meaning, you know, there would be an enforcement of, you know, wear, mask wearing, social distancing, et cetera. Um, interestingly, um, sort of as a corollary to that question, so that the other 50% said, no, absolutely not. I won't be comfortable until, you know, this thing is, is over with. But for the population of people that are happy to get together uh, under, under the right conditions, there were also some comments in terms of the other question, how can the chamber be helpful to you? That people were somewhat disappointed with the fact that we didn't take advantage of the window of opportunity during the milder months to be able to pull off more uh, in-person events. Um, and I think that's probably a fair criticism to, to a certain extent because it's not easy, number one, to put those together. Um, in defense of, uh, of the chamber, I would say that the, 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 the ability to do those is, is, is largely contingent upon, the, upon a few things. One, getting the venue. Number two, getting the turnout. And then there were, there were at least one or two physical events that were scheduled and uh, offered uh, at the latter part of the fall, but turnout was extremely low. So on the one hand, it's understandable that people want in person, but on the other hand, if it's offered, there has to be the turnout, otherwise the event can't happen. So 
it's a tough situation in terms of how to sort of navigate this going forward. And again, the circumstances as they unfold will dictate whether or not, I suppose, other in-person events will be scheduled. But I guess the bottom line is if people want it, they have to actually show up for it. Um, a couple of other suggestions that were made uh, were with respect to the kinds of things that can be offered in terms of virtual. So, um, you know, I'll just read a few of the comments off. Um, you know, finding unique ways to overcome barriers of the pandemic, um, uh, speed networking events. Uh, one of the suggestions was the Small Business Advisory Council, which I know that that has actually kicked off. Uh, help raise awareness of the impact of COVID on nonprofits, um, because I know that we all shared at one point what the impact was on our, our respective businesses. Um, uh, some people even ask for the newer people, walk them through how the chamber works. Because again, I think that for all of the veterans that have been part of the chamber, for people who join, um, you know, it's initially a little bit of a, of a shock and they may not know necessarily how to navigate uh, the chamber. Um, remind members that I'm in business. Uh, that was an interesting comment because there was a lot of effort put in by certainly, I know Sherilyn and Connie and others in terms of putting together lists of all the businesses uh, in the chamber, what they were doing, et cetera. So uh, things uh, had been done throughout the year uh, to do that. Uh, I suppose maybe it was not uh, communicated as well as it could have been that that effort was actually done and that that information was out there. Um, uh, efforts focused on small business in the chamber uh, and how they have suffered. Um, and uh, continue, to, I thought this was an interesting one, continue to make the meetings and events affordable. I would just like to remind everybody that they've been free uh, pretty much since March. <laughs> so, so uh, and they will, I think, continue to be, uh, the, 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 is that Therese's? I don't, I don't know if that's the intent, but I, I know that probably for the foreseeable future, uh, they will be. Um, a couple of other suggestions in terms of ideas, uh, trying to put programs together in popular venues like Asbury Park, Happy Hour, Again, they're doing a virtual happy hour, doing a game night that was done before, um, doing something at Bellworks if that was available. Um, and again, finding a nice outdoor space where people can come uh, and uh, do something on a first come first, come, first serve uh, basis as capacity, um, uh, you know, may be limited. So uh, that's kind of the feedback. And um, the thing I would say as, as I depart from this role is that, and again, it echoes what, you know, folks like Bonnie and, and Mark had said, you know, when I started with the chamber, um, I was trying to look for ways to not just show up, but to do something. And I had kind of poked around and asked the question about the attendance and said, you know, there's like nobody keeping track of who shows up to things. And there's a lot of conversation about, well, should we do this or should we do that? And we don't really have good information. <clears throat> and it was a simple thing to kind of just raise my hand and say, hey, nobody's doing this, would this be helpful? And I actually received feedback at the time from the uh, current president that who, who didn't really see, well, what's that, good? What's, that good? what's that gonna be good for? And I think as time has gone on, we've seen the value of actually having information to be able to use that as an informative tool to be able to manage what gets done by the chamber. It doesn't do everything, but it does something. Um, there are lots of things that people can do. You don't have to do a lot. And I know that, you know, people say, well, what you contribute, you, you know, what you put in, you get out. I would say that you don't have to put in very much and you get out a lot. So uh, participate and do something. And there are lots of little things that people can participate in to be uh, more engaged maybe than they have been in the past. And it, it, it offers you the opportunity to get to know people in a very different way than just doing sort of, you know, the virtual uh, thing that we're doing now, as well as your commercial. And um, you really get to know people. And that's how you actually get business as well, because they, again, know and trust you as a, as a human being rather than just from your sales pitch and your, you know, your 30 second commercial that Al will keep to 15 seconds. Um, so um, as I depart, all my all my uh, all my tasks are up for grabs. So um, <laughs> so uh, don't don't all fight at once. And um, I would just like to say, in parting, uh, to just to thank everybody uh, for one, uh, your, your your certainly your business support, uh, but most importantly, uh, just the the warmth and the, uh, the 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 welcoming feeling that I think this chamber has uh, has given me from the start and. 
Uh, I can absolutely attest to that from the beginning, sitting next to Therese at the first event that I went to, and for all of the other people who've been just, uh, you know, so uh, fantastic over the last two years. So thank you so much. Thank I think you. we're going to miss you. Yeah, we really are. Thank you so much, Frank. Thanks for everything. Thank you. And, well, and, we'll and I wish they could summer down haven't had the opportunity to music. unfortunately be in person. I could just attest that it's a lot more fun in person because it just, you know, you guys have really been great. And it's just uh, going to the perks and doing events with you guys has just been a lot of fun. And volunteering with Tara and, and Sherilyn and all these people who've done so much, it's just been, uh, just been a great experience. Thank you, Frank, for your service to the chamber. Uh, we're, you were truly going to miss you. The feedback that we've been getting when I sent the email out to the board last night is incredible. You you mean a lot to everybody. So you just have well, to let you. us know as as Mark was Mark said it. I think just now, let us know when you're performing down <laughs> here because we'll all you'll show up. You're you well. We're going to be out there. We're already marketing. So, <laughs> so we'll well, okay. So here's summer. how here's uh, here's how okay. we can help Frank. Tell us about the band that you're playing with and we'll all like your page. All righty, that'll be my, my last 30 second commercial. So I'm in a music duo called Vinyl Traction and we play pretty much up and down the uh, North Jersey shore. Uh, used to play in bars when they allowed us to play, but this past summer, thankfully, <laughs> we played pretty much every weekend at country clubs and uh, private beach clubs. So we did all right for a pandemic and uh, hopefully this coming summer, We'll have both private and uh, public uh, performances again. So hope to see you out there. And thank you so much for the many people who at the time when it was possible came out to see us mm -hmm. at places like the Wall Street Pub and all the other places that we played out throughout this, the, uh, the, the normal venues. So thanks so much. And, hey, Frank, just put that in the chat box real quick. Your, um, the name of your band again, just in case okay. anybody missed it. We'll do. Yeah. And we have a good page. Very good. Very excellent, Frank. Excellent. Thanks, Al. All right, you're gonna have a lot more fans, I think. On uh, <laughs> we have a, a, a nice number of people here that hopefully will like your page. All right, thank you. Go see so Joanne much. after they they see us. <laughs> you're amazing. I, I I've been to some of your uh, your concerts. I you're amazing. You're a great singer and a great guitar player. So oh, thank you. So don't knock yourself, please. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, let's uh.